Hey, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about how we know in the Bible, a long time ago, a lot of people that's in the Bible lived to be hundreds and hundreds of years old, okay? And we know that the Most High end up cutting people's life short, the lifespan short down to 120 years, okay? And we know that in our modern day time, the average person lives to be around 80. I think the average life expectancy is like 75 or 80 years old, okay? Now, I'm not gonna make this a spiritual or biblical or religious video, but it is something to think about as far as the scientific point. See, we always, we see stories in the Bible and other ancient texts, and we, we hear about things that's told from a mythological standpoint and a religious standpoint many times and what I like to do is go and practically seek out scientific ways that something could have came about right so with that said a long time ago guys we actually used to produce our own vitamin C now there's certain animals actually most animals actually produce their own vitamin C did you know that so we have to eat foods and take supplements to get our vitamin C but there are certain animals that actually produce it on their own. So like cats, your dog can produce his own vitamin C. Your cat can produce its own vitamin C, okay? And then there's just like a few animals. I think bats can't, guinea, uh, guinea pigs, some, uh, most fish and some reptiles can't produce their own vitamin C. Now, the thing is, we used to be able to do this and we have the genes to be able to do this to, to this day. So those, but those genes are, are dormant for some reason. They're locked for some reason, okay? Now there's all types of theories on why that is or why that happens is what we call junk DNA. You heard me say that term before. Many of you guys have heard that term before, junk DNA, okay? So the thing is we do have the codes in order to be able to produce the, um, the enzyme that you need in order to convert that enzyme over to exorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Um, and the enzyme is a G word. It, it, I, the pronunciation is, escapes me right now. It's like L um, gluta, glutatone or something like that. So go look into it. It's an enzyme. You know how with, with the scientific words, they're, they're very hard to pronounce, you know, and very hard to read and hard to look at and be able to pronounce it the way that it may be spelled a certain way, but it's actually pronounced a certain other way. So it's like L, um, like glue, glue something, glue the tone, I believe, or something like that. So you can look that up. But the point is, is to know what it's supposed to do. So this is an enzyme, okay? And that enzyme is supposed to be, if we were still producing vitamin C on our own, that enzyme is supposed to convert over into vitamin C. For whatever reason, our cells are not converting this enzyme over into vitamin C. Therefore, we have to take vitamin C in through supplementation and different foods, okay? But we know plants already synthesize their own vitamin C, right? That's how we get it from the plants. They synthesize it from the sun or whatever, whatever metabolical chemical processes that go on that are precursors you know, everything that that plant's need, plant needs is within itself um, opposed, I mean, other than the water and the sunlight, okay? Um, so, it's something interesting, like, you know, why did we lose that gene? How did it happen? Why did it just turn off all, all of a sudden? If it was gradual, then why was it gradual? What happened that made our, our DNA say, okay, this is not um, important anymore. We don't need to do this anymore. This is going to shut down. Why? Did that I would call it a, a degeneration because if we had the ability to produce something, okay, on our own, but now we have to get um, ex uh, external resources in order to provide that same vitamin or mineral, then that's a, a de-evolution, I would think, or, you know, a, a degenerate state or, a, a, you know, that, that's moving backwards. So why did that happen, though? Um, so that's interesting, and, and from a scientific standpoint, can, can this be one of the things that explains how people were able to live so long back then, um, as opposed to now, okay, because we know vitamin C is an antioxidant, okay, 
and we know the antioxidants what they battle free radicals they combat free radicals and free radicals are responsible for many things that put people to rest okay so free radicals are responsible for cancer and many other degenerate uh, degenerative diseases okay so um so the antioxidant aspect of vitamin c and you know and just just imagine if you did produce your own how it can help in that regards and keeping you healthier longer uh what else um vitamin c oh yeah vitamin c has to do with it's a precursor to a lot of um, different hormones okay and, and chemicals that produce certain hormones that we need so vitamin c is very important in producing dopamine it's very important in producing adrenaline if you don't have vitamin c you can't produce these things and so there's other there's i'm sure there's other things that it's a precursor for okay so you know just imagine once again just imagine if you produce your own vitamin c because then it was it would be you would just think that it, it would it would be a logical way of thinking um and a good a pretty good assumption to think that if you're producing your own vitamin c it's going to be superior to something that you're taking that's outside of yourself because I'm sure it's going to be something different about that vitamin C that you're producing that's going to be perfected towards helping you stay healthy you know specifically as opposed to getting it from a fruit or a vegetable or as opposed to getting it from a, a pill okay so you know that's just something interesting to think about you know what I mean uh, I think that's pretty good though guys oh and is there ways are there things that we can do to possibly unlock those genes, okay, and unlock that that DNA. And um, is there anything we can do on our own? You know what I mean. Um, perhaps you know. Uh, I don't know. You know. Now, and there's theories. The thing is, there's different theories to why we lost the ability to produce our own vitamin C. So I'm just going to give because all they can all they they can really do is give a theory, right? So and uh, I, I, I I theorize possibly. I was thinking, well, maybe it has something to do with the more comfortable we became, the more accessible food became, then perhaps we overate. And a lot of things that we probably naturally produced on our own, once we became, started to become dependent on outside sources and getting way too much food and things like that, um, then perhaps certain processes were just shut off because it wasn't needed anymore so if you have an abundance of food you're eating way more you're getting a lot of more food grade food based vitamin c externally so you maybe at some point you you know you just decided that you didn't have to produce it on your own anymore i don't know it's a, it's a theory okay and then um and that can go for it that can go for any other thing that we uh that we have to take in. How many things were we able to actually synthesize on our own? We even know now we're able to synthesize vitamin D from just being exposed to sunlight. You know, we don't have to eat any vitamin D, you know what I mean, from a, um, from a fish or um, from any other type of vitamin D supplement. We don't need any of that. We know that we just get enough sun exposure. And um, if we have all the other precursors that we need and things in our body, then we're gonna produce vitamin D right so because um, if you think about it with certain animals think about how when they live even if they don't have a lifespan of a hundred a hundred years or whatever most animals that's not domesticated they live very healthy and very able their whole life they don't really have um, a time period where they they just start withering away and you really see them getting old and degenerate um, and degenerative okay so the thing is other than the domestic animals okay and the domesticated ones every, everybody has knows that person who has that dog that they had for 20 human years 30 human years right and uh, and you know it's blind and it's 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 gained about a hundred pounds and, and things like that but if you think about it that's a domesticated animal who's not living in its natural state under its natural circumstances so it succumbs to some of the things that that we succumb to based on not maybe you know being um domesticated you know what i mean like not living um according to nature you know what i mean and living a different way it may seem more comfortable because you're used to it 
but is it really the best thing for for your nature so like i said you can you can see a stray cat and you can see that cat from a kitten and it, and it may be a stray and you see it in the neighborhood but it's living closer to being a, a feral cat or the, you know or um, a cat that's that lives in the woods and you see that cat and that cat you know you can see that cat in the neighborhood for years and years and years and that cat is able it's still able to do everything as a cat it's still lean it's still quick it still fit it probably still has a lot of good um a lot of its senses is probably still sharp sight um smelling hearing all those things okay and then they pass away so they might not live to be 100 years old if it's a cat that might not be in their their genetics to live hundreds of years or something like that but if it's in their genetics to live for 10 years then they live that 10 years able you know what i mean pretty much um vibrant you know what I mean, and youthful, and, and, and with a whole lot of energy and ability from, from day one all the way to day whatever, okay? And so you don't really see animals just getting old like that, the ones that produce vitamin C, okay? So there you go, guys. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's something to think about as well, you know? So if we were able to produce our own vitamin C, could we, it's not about living forever, it's about you know, getting the best bang for your buck. So if you're going to be here for 75, 80 years, you know, being able to, you know, be very able and do a lot of things for that whole time, as opposed to living 100 years, but the last 50 years, you know, you were decrepit, you know, and couldn't do much, you know what I mean? And, um, and sickly, you know? So it's, that's just, something to ponder guys um hopefully this was an interesting video look into that hopefully this will get you going with vitamin c as far as really doing some research on it even i gotta i gotta get that name of that enzyme that i was talking about i gotta have that stick i gotta get that to stick it's like l -glut glutatone or something like that because um i'm not real I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm not real big on the names of things i you know i try to remember the names of, of certain things so you can go and research it yourself you can hear that and go type it in yourself and do if you want to do your own research and things like that um, but I'm more so from a personal standpoint being an independent scientist I'm more so want to understand what something does I can even give it my own name I can say I can say oh that's that's G you know what I mean but as long as I know what the process of it is in my mind, as long as I know what, what, what it does and what it can help with or what's its function and why it's relevant, why it's important, then, you know, I can nickname it if I want to, but for the sake of trying to help other people and steer other people and get and stimulate thought um, for, for other people, then, you know, I, I we need to know the name. So I'm gonna put the name in the description probably too. All right, I'm gonna put the name of that enzyme in the description. But to recap, guys, we used to actually produce our own vitamin um, C. We stopped doing it for some reason. There's a few th there's theories out there, but no, like anything else, but no one really knows why all of a sudden we just stopped being able to produce our own vitamin C. Consequently, a long time ago, in biblical days, and before and before then, people were producing their own vitamin C. Consequently. People were living for hundreds and hundreds of years. All right, so that's something to tie together. So that's the moral. And then we know that vitamin C is healthy, it's an antioxidant, and it's a precursor, and it's a very important ingredient for us, for our bodies, and in order for us to be healthy. So that's the gist of it. That's what, that's the moral of this video. Okay, guys? All right, peace.